your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. A couple from Canada spreading glad tidings of great joy in the Southern District and young people were the recipients. Jay Philippe tells us more. Christmas is celebrated on December 25th where kids look forward to unwrapping gifts on that particular day. But here in Lewis Yard, Christmas came early. Santa Claus is here! Lou Seymour and his wife Angie are Canadian residents. Since the passing of Hurricane Dorian back in 2019, the couple has made frequent trips to Grand Bahama to assist local residents. In particular, young kids with bringing some normalcy to their lives through major donations. With Christmas just weeks away, this time around the couple along with some of their partners did a walkabout throughout the community of Lewis Yard, distributing brand new tablets to students among other gifts as a sign of love. For Angie, as an advocate for young children, this gesture is something she, along with her husband, who's a native of Grand Bama, felt compelled to do. The last time we were here, we brought 150 bicycles, and now we brought 100 tablets to give to these kids because we know that they have not been in school for the last, I'm going to cry, um, for the last three years, and I felt they needed the help. Her and I was talking to each other and said, you know, come Christmas time, a lot of kids in the world, period, they don't care about homes and this. The only thing they care about is Christmas and Santa. Is Santa coming to our house? Mom, we don't have a house. So we decided to come back Christmas time. Let's bring the kids a gift, something they could remember. And like the young lady wanted a Bobby doll just now, she said. But we decided to bring something even better. Summer, a student of Lewis Yard Primary, was one of the recipients of a brand new tablet. I feel excited because I never actually see Santa again because only one day I see Santa was at school. So I feel really more excited and that is how I feel because I love when I get gifts. Her mother Angela Thomas was just as excited for her daughter. Well I'm grateful, I'm excited. I definitely was surprised. I'd like to say thank you for everyone that showed up. She's excited. She's going to use it as soon as possible. Five other young boys in the area came right in time for their tablets. By the sounds of their response, the Christmas gift could not have came at a better time. I feel happy for Christmas because Santa's always bringing me stuff. That's why I love Santa. I feel good. And I like how Santa come and give us presents. And I love this tablet for doing virtual and classes. I feel very excited. Um, I, I'm happy to know that Santa is always here for us. Um, I'll use the tablet for um, helping others and doing my virtual classes. Senior educator at Lewis Yard Primary Dorothy Lewis has been the liaison with Lou and Angie Seymour while in Canada. Lewis, who works directly with most of the young kids in the area, stressed the importance of these devices as children across the country continue to endure the virtual school platform that has been in effect since schools reopened in September. And I selected those persons who, like a single mother, that lady we just came from, she's a single mother with five children. This child here, she comes on on her father's tablet. So I figured she needs a tablet of, of her own. And then the other person we are going to, um, he hasn't been coming on at school for whatever reason. So he needs tablet. The couple says work will continue this week as they are planning to visit grocery stores this weekend to assist with purchasing groceries for single mothers in need. I'm Jay Philippe, ZNS Network News. Awesome story, Jay. And here is our Jay Philippe once again with a check on sports. Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports Well in Basketball. We know about Buddy Hill, DeAndre Aiden, and Kai Jones. We also have a number of professional basketball players from the Bahamas playing all around the world. One of those players is Willis Mackey Jr. Grand Bahamian professional basketball player Willis Mackey Jr. is in his third year as a pro. The 6'8 forward and national team players playing in France in the French League. 
We caught up with Mikey Jr., who's fresh from traveling with the senior men's national team, and took a moment to give us his update on the season while at the airport. So the season in France has been going pretty well compared to last season where, you know, during the pandemic and everybody was recovering from the pandemic, we were always locked in the room and everything. Now it feels a lot more normal just living in France and living in Europe in general. And on top of that, my team right now, we are ranked number three in the league and we're doing really well. We have 10 wins and four losses. We're playing really well together and just trying to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do in order to meet our goals, which is to go to the next level of French basketball, which is Pro B. And for now, my personal goals are the same, just to try to help the team as much as I can to get to those goals. I'm currently leading the team at points and I'm second in rebounding and I'm just looking to keep doing that. Sticking with hoops action on the women's side now, Coach Olette Maxi McEwen and her old Miss Lady Rebels continuing their hot start to the season by winning the Raising the Bar Invitational Women's Basketball Tournament. The Rebels defeated San Diego State 62-48 in their first contest and later took on an undefeated Cal team and emerged victorious shutting down the Bears 64-45. Ole Miss won the most games in the month of November since 2017 and picked up its first in-season tournament title since winning the Nugget Classic in 2014. The Lady Rebels are 6-1 on the season so far. The next matchup will be against the University of New Orleans later this week. And finally in sports, track and field is back. The Anita Doherty All Distance Track Meet is set to take place this weekend, this Saturday, at the Grand Bahama Sports Complex. And that's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.